Erica? So the idea is that we have this um, sonar front that will take um, a range measurement, calculate the, the angle it needs, and then um, and then you can shoot it from there. So it works pretty well. Um, so that we, it still needs to be calibrated. And another thing that came up that we didn't expect from the uh, from the sensor is that it's not very accurate. I mean, it's it will give you it will give you a nice range between uh, centimeter. What do you call it? Uh, it will give you centimeter resolution at a from like for five meters or so. But within a room like this, it gets a lot of noise, and that's one of the things that we have to deal with. Um, unfortunately, they don't make laser sensors, laser ra laser range finders, cheap enough for us to to appropriate. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. <coughs> Stefan, you want to talk about the hardware? Yeah, and we have we have a closed loop control. Here, um, due to the, the range finder, we can we can measure the spit distance. Not very accurate. We have a very very huge noise signal, so we take an average about it, and um, then we go to the motor and yeah, control control the position due to the um, the encoder here on the back. And we made it a closed loop control, and we had this um, this factor in front in front of the um, the ball, um, in front of the equation, and we Constant. we tried a lot of yeah we tried a lot of constants, and we figured out that um, when you make it unstable and take the half of of the constant, then you got a pretty good um, response on your mm -hmm. on your system, and that's what we did for the closed loop control. Yeah. Some of the other stuff that uh, it's hard to notice at this stage is that we had to do a lot of uh, measurements to figure out how fast the bullet was actually leaving the chamber. So to do that, we shot the, the bullet as close to horizontal as possible, um, measured the measured where the bullet hit the ground. You can still see the tape marks over there. Um, and then huh. from there, we calculated the, the fall time, and then also from there, the distance, and then the, uh, the initial velocity. Um, and then there were some measurements outside just making sure this thing works. Yeah. 